Hi. Hello. Today we are going to be talking on our live about money as an actor. And if money is hard for you, um, which is often the case from what we hear from actors and from the situations that you're going through, we want to look at how can you invest in your acting career when money is hard. And so that may show up as you know, maybe you've done um, some work as an actor and money did come in and suddenly you're off the show and money is not coming in anymore or um, it's just too irregular. So you're feeling like you don't know when money is coming in, you don't know when you have some needs. So it feels really tight to invest because you're not sure how to plan when you don't know what's coming in. And it also may be even a little more drastic if you're feeling like you're never booking and therefore there's never any money coming in. So you have a side job, but that maybe doesn't pay you enough. It just helps you get by. So at the end of the day, whether you're not booking at all and therefore there's no cash, whether it's too unstable and therefore it's really hard to make an investment, or whether you had some, but it's suddenly nothing is coming in and therefore it's scary, it feels really like, um, yeah, it feels really dangerous to kind of speculate and to start up to risk money, put money on the table in order to invest in your career. So um, I understand the feelings of, you know, feeling just like scared and unable to make a decision to invest in your career. I understand that sometimes there's also people that come to us and that really have no money. So there's no cash on your account. And so you're feeling cornered because you know you want to invest, you feel you want to invest, you're inspired to invest in yourself, and yet there's nothing that's available on your bank accounts. And so you literally can't make the move of investing. And so what do you do in that case if you're feeling like you know cornered or strangled and unable to make a move you're frozen basically so um i really do want to first acknowledge that i understand that that can be extremely frustrating annoying infuriating because of course part of you knows that if um if you're gonna have an acting career if it's gonna be successful fulfilling you're gonna have to invest in yourself and so if you've tried a lot of things, you may have uh, been trying to find, you know, cheaper acting classes or not go too often so that you're not spending the money. You may have tried to get the jobs without investing in yourself to kind of skip the line and make sure you can have some money coming in first. I hear that a lot from actors like, oh, I first need to get some auditions and some jobs and then I'll invest in myself. And you've tried that, but it's been a while. And if you look back, it's been years. And you're still in that situation where you're feeling disempowered because you can't invest in yourself and you don't have the results. So you don't have the money. So you can't invest in yourself. So you don't have the results. So you don't have the money. So you can't invest in yourself, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a loop really that you're finding yourself stuck into. And so first of all, yeah, I want to, to, recognize um, that that's frustrating and then where I want to take this conversation is really to say that um, the money the lack of money the irregular money and also the um, incapacity to make the move to invest is not the root issue that's only the symptom of what the real root problem is so again, I'm going to say that the money is not the issue. The money is not the issue. The money is not the issue. And the fact that you're feeling cornered and unable to invest because that's too dangerous because you don't have the resources, that is not the issue either. What's actually at the core of this is your instrument. The money is just a symptom of the situation. What's really happening at the root of this loop that you're stuck into is that you have an instrument that's not fully working for you. And if your instrument is not fully working, 
you're enabled when you do have an audition or when you do, if you don't have auditions, when you do have an agent meeting, you're unable to shine at the value that you know you are. Because your instrument, what you act with, your emotional instrument, your spiritual instrument, your physical instrument, your mental instrument, everything that makes you you as the artist is not 100% fully open, free, truthful, alive, and unique. You have a very specific DNA that no one in the world has. No one before you, no one after you will have it. There is only one of a kind of you. And that DNA needs to be 100% fully expressed for you to be seen. Meaning, if you are meant to be green, let's say, and because of the way you were raised, the authorities around you, your conditioning, your formatting, the way trauma impacted you, you're now more of a brown you will never be seen. Your true DNA is green. If you show up as brown, you cannot be seen as brown because that's not your truth. And there's brown on top of your green. So your green is not palpable. The casting director cannot see it. The agent cannot feel it. No one can experience you in your true DNA green if it's sprayed with a bunch of masks and looking good and trying to do it right and trying to please, that's not you. So again, the core of this issue of being looping in a position where you feel, but I don't have enough money or money doesn't come regularly enough or it used to come and it doesn't anymore. So now I'm stuck. I can't invest in myself. Does not make sense. If you had a business, forget acting for a second, if you had a garage, a bakery, whatever it is, a hairdresser business, and you're unable to put money to start that business or to continue that money, the business cannot be. It needs to be fed. So if you had a business and nothing to invest in it, it wouldn't exist. So what would you do? You would get a loan. You would ask some friends. You would be resourceful in order to find the money to start to invest in your business so your business can exist and then it can give you back that money and you can give it back. We have a lot of actors who come to us and who are like, shoot, I absolutely need to do this work to reset myself and be completely free, but I don't have the money. Give me a second. I'm going to run around and find it. I'm going to take an extra job. I'm going to ask for a loan. I'm going to ask my friends. I'm going to have ask my friends each for a hundred dollars. So if there's real commitment from you to be the instrument, the DNA that you were born to be, to be 100% fully alive in what you were born to, meet, to be, to be your gift, your own medicine, etc., you will find solutions. As long as you're not finding the solutions in order to build your business, your business won't build itself. So no, you will not get the right auditions. No, you will not get the right agent. Your pictures won't look like you. Your reel won't look incredible. You will not be able to book. You might have a couple, you know, happy accidents here or there where you'll be able to book. But if your DNA is not fully expressed, like fully, as freely as when you were a child before your conditioning, there is no reason that your career will take off. Because again, when a casting director sees you, when a director sees you, when an agent sees you, or any industry professional in any networking event, if you are not fully expressed as your DNA, that's supposed to be whatever, for example, green, and you show up as brown, no one can see you. No one can experience you. We can't get a taste of you if you're not really being yourself. People can only taste you, see you, feel you, experience you, and watch you if you are really there. If you're a modified version of yourself, a cloned, conditioned version of you, if you have a very big social mask, if you have a very big pleasing mask, 
If you have a looking good mask, if you have a I need to look confident mask, no one can experience you. And therefore, if no one can experience you, no one can book you, no one can work with you, and your career cannot start. So yes, it is crucial when you start a business, whether it's a bakery, a garage, or your acting career, to invest in yourself. And it's scary, but that's what brave people do when they start a business. They find the resources, they make it happen, they commit to the dream of building the bakery and make it happen. And the same goes to you as an artist, as an actor. The idea is not to sit around and say, I don't have the means, I can't invest in myself, that's why it's not working, I'm not getting any auditions, and just stay in that loop of complaining where you're stuck, nothing's happening, don't have the money, don't have the auditions, nothing will ever change. You can try that harder, it won't change. You want to be, if, if it matters to you, if acting really matters to you, if it matters to you to be fulfilled when you're acting, to be impacting, to really be alive when you're defending this character, then you will find the resources to find the money to invest in yourself so that when you do show up in your reel, in your agent meetings, in your pictures, in your headshot, in your, uh, sorry, headshot, in your reel, in your auditions, in your agent meetings, in your networking, what people get of you is like, wow, wow, this person is really green. Like I, I heard the, their, their soul's noise. I saw their soul's color. I felt their soul's essence. I, I got them. I experienced them. I, I didn't get like, you know, when you're looking for the channel on the radio and you can't really hear it because it's like. So if you're not really reset to be completely you to the bone, pure DNA, fully expressed, not trying to look good, not trying to be right, not trying to be confident, really just being present to whatever beautiful fucked upness you have inside, people will fall in love with you. People will adore you for exactly that. So if that makes sense, then you're realizing, oh yeah, the problem isn't the money, right? It's not that money is hard. Money's a thing as an artist. It's part of the game, right? It's also a thing for bankers. It's kind of a thing for everyone. But don't make it a thing where you're a blocked artist. I don't have money. I can't invest. I can't show up in the way that I want to show up. Your duty to your artistic instrument, to your soul, is to invest in yourself if it matters to you, not if it doesn't. If it actually matters to your soul, to your truth, to your purpose. Yes, find the solutions. Yes, invest. Yes, show up fully alive, 100% you, free, not caring what other people think, not giving a damn F, <laughs> just being you. And then people will start to see you and want to work with you. That's inevitable. So, um, Anna, you were asking, I don't teach acting. I help actors undo all conditioning so that they actually can just be and not act. And it's online. So we can definitely send you some information because we have actors from all around the world who are doing this work of resetting. If this is interesting to you and you want more information, you can type free 100 in the comments and we can send you some free information, some free trainings so that you can get started and you're getting out of that loop of, I'm a victim, I'm an artist, poor me, I don't have money, I can't invest, I can't show up like I want to show up. And that that will make the difference. That That's the root cause. Money is just a symptom of the cause. So I hope that this made sense. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Again, Anna, if you type in the comments, free 100, um, we can definitely send you some information. Um, and um, yeah, for anyone, you can type free 100 and we'll send you some information. All right, thank you guys. Ciao.